G'day guys, up next I've got Ryan Cromwell. Ryan believes there is one true metric for software quality, and that is, how often are you shipping? So I decided to sit down and ask him about his release cadence report. Check it out. G'day guys, I'm here with Ryan Cromwell. How are you Ryan? I'm good, yourself? Not too bad. Good. I want to talk to you about this uh, release cadence report you've just released. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. So the release cadence report is is our attempt to kind of understand how the industry and organizations uh, ship software, yep. the, the rhythm at which they ship software, and how that affects uh, the organization's capabilities, as well as those organizations on different gamuts or the different uh, ends of release shipping capability, what kind of things they're doing to get to those points. Right. And how's the uh, initial uptake been? It's been great. So we've had a lot of people who are very interested in seeing what the, this data is like. So there's been a lot of referrals. Uh, we're starting to see quite a few survey responses roll in. Uh, yeah. We certainly hope it continues. Okay. Um, so what triggered you to create this thing? So I, I think there's been something of a stagnation in the, the industry reports or our understanding of how agile and frameworks and, and some of these agile uh, techniques have impacted mm. the org uh, I think we've seen that agile is kind of the way to go uh, and now we need to look forward to what's the next uh, what's the next understanding or evolution of that that industry okay so is your assumption that if I'm releasing more I've got better quality software or is it that I'm saving money or what is it so I think the anecdotal evidence shows some of that uh, the problem is, is we don't have real evidence of that. Uh, and that's what we're trying to do, is, is come up with something empirical, something real, some hard data that shows us if that's true or not, and whether or not organizations should really follow that trend. And so is this for small companies or very large companies? And do you have examples? So we certainly see a number of big companies doing this. Uh, there are examples of smaller companies. I've certainly worked with some of the smaller smaller companies producing products as well as services for line of business. Right. Uh, but yeah, there, there are large organizations uh, doing this all the time and they're, they're really changing the market. Can uh, you give me some names? Sure. Flickr is a great example. Uh, Team Foundation Service, the Visual Studio products from Microsoft, yep. uh, are shipping on a regular basis, quarterly or more often. Uh, Etsy is always one of the best examples out there. How do I spell that one? Etsy, E T S Y. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I know we see uh, Facebook deploying many times a day. So these are really big organizations with a lot of customers. They've found a way to do this. They feel like it's made them competitive or more competitive that they can, they can really beat up on the market and change the market by doing this. Okay, well that's uh, exciting and uh, hopefully, you know, the surveys will give people data. Now, when they fill it in, what do they get for filling it in? So everyone who fills out the survey will get access to the, the report itself, without a doubt. And we will be shipping that sometime around September of 2013. Uh, so that so that everybody can see the data. Uh, same with people who are referring. So if you're going to refer people to take the survey, uh, maybe you work in an organization and you send it out, you'll get early access to the report, uh, even earlier access to the report, and potentially even more analysis. Uh, we haven't really decided how that report is going to uh, be shipped, but it will be free at some point. But if you want earlier or deeper access, right. those who refer and those who fill it out will get early access. So the deeper access sounds interesting. Does that mean that I could see all the surveys of everybody else? No, no. So we will make sure that personal information is completely gone. No one will get access to that. Uh, the only reason we take, for instance, email is so that we can get you the report. We want to be able to give you right. the report, uh, but that will not be able to anyone else. Uh, for a number of organizations there are, that are out there trying to support uh, support your organization being capable of shipping in different ways, mm -hmm. uh, we expect those organizations to want to know how to tailor their products correctly uh, and how to build programs with organizations, so we want to enable that. And do you think, is this a one-time thing or you might do it, is this an annual thing? So uh, the hope is that it will be annual, that, it, uh, that if we can see a, a trend or a movement in the, the industry uh, and to understand how release cadence has changed in, in, in the industry uh, over the years. So yes, we would like to do this every year. Okay, all right, well I might come back and talk to you again when you've got lots more data and you've got some reports out. Okay, so with that, this is Adam Kogan signing off for SSW TV.